So we've got a little computer at the back door of the house and it was on a, a table that we had just sitting around that we d it wasn't really designed for it. So I decided to make a new table designed specifically for that spot. Uh, so I, I do a little sketch and uh, there's a sketch and then I uh, found a piece of wood that was about the right size and uh, it, I've got a, a big stock of pieces of plywood and stuff. So one of them turned out to be just about perfect. Uh, it was a little bit too oh, okay, shallow. But so the idea is that this it, is it doesn't have like a mass size. It's just and you know, the size. dark parts. So here I cut it out on the bandsaw like and, so like and then I and then the light parts finish are like all the corners with uh, flat areas round and over uh, and so around router uh, or water and sure. sanded the surface down a bit, There's not roads. super great. But roads exactly. Some. And then I would burn the whole surface. And, and uh, I, like I stood there looking at it for a while, and, and I thought, like, oh, that uh, little need towns to make a where they're farming. Out of this. And so the idea was that it was and then uh, these, these big circles are cities, and are like the, big mountains the, with the dragons small hatched and areas and are like farming towns, and, and then the lines are roads. Oh, and then the little dots are, can go are forts them. or castles or something. And, the, and then and the, the dark areas in the wood are like mountain ranges, and the light areas are plains or. Valleys. Those are, yeah, they're like castles. And then the or knots are like big like, volcano the cars, dragon mountains. The cars drive it. around. Uh, it's great. And so you can see I've, I've okay. got like a bunch of little forts around all the uh, the knots. And uh, some of the cities have been destroyed and some of the towns are, are abandoned and some of the roads are in disrepair. And it was a fun project. It was fun to do that. So uh, did all that. And then. While I was waiting for the lacquer to dry on those, I did the legs, and uh, so I would burn the legs. And then I very carefully and painstakingly put stain in uh, in all those squares. I don't know if that was worth it. it I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Uh, and then I wood burned over the top of the stain, and then I sealed all those up as well. And then uh, I assembled it all and installed it in the house.